Good people, good people. How we doing? You are rocking with us on the Mega Quan Show. I am going to give you a little bit of love and attention because we appreciate each and every one of you. Woohoo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're now tuned into the Mega Quan Show. Uh, thank you. I am Mega. And I am Quan, and we want to say thank you for joining us today on the Mega Quan Show. I know things are a little bit different. You was expecting to hear a little bit of music and everything, but hey, we got to improvise sometime. Yes, indeed. Don't we? We, we improvise a lot. We because improvise. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm sitting next to you right now. Hey, I'm stuff happens in life and you got to, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You know? Apparently so. Because this was supposed to be a whole partial remote show. It was it was it was a remote show. I was supposed to have a guest in studio. Everything, right? It was just been a crazy, crazy time. But yeah. hey, we keep moving. We, we do. We we adjust. That's it's right. Okay. That's what it's all about. Ah oh, man. So good people. Like and share, share and like doesn't cost you a thing. We appreciate you. Check us out on Instagram here on Facebook, as well as Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please. And thank you. At the Mega Quan Show. Um, Mega Quan Show. That's right. That's right. Uh, what are we drinking today, good sir? Mm. So we're drinking old fashions. And today we are using the rabbit hole. <laughs> the good old rabbit hole. It, are we going down the rabbit hole today? We might. We Pro might. Okay. Probably okay. in the okay. after you know show. What? Probably right. in the after show. But this You're is right. a high You're go, right. which is a high rye uh, bourbon. So. Uh. And you know what? And tasty, it's going, right? It is. Okay. Thank it you. Is. And it's actually going to be great with my Placencia 149. Okay. I got you. These are great. Um, let me borrow your light, good sir. You absolutely can do that. And what are you smoking today? I got this uh, tabernacle today. Wow. And it is uh, what, CT what is it, Broadleaf. Okay. That's not something I normally smoke, but I've smoked this before. Okay. Somebody actually else turned me on to it. Uh, wow. I'm trying to remember who, but. I, I just recently smoked it and I said, oh, I like it. It's cool. Um, okay. And I'm smoking the David. That's I, what's called the David? That's what it's called. The I'm not, David. I'm not smoking David, though. I promise I, you that. Hey, not, I was doing <laughs> not doing it. Hey, Paul's granddad. granddad. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> rabbit hole. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? There you go. All <laughs> right. Get ready. <laughs> why, why is our video not playing live? It's okay. Here? You know what? Just we know that we are live. live, though. So that's all that matters, right? Okay. Our production manager is actually in studio. The hand. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. You see it. Yeah. And of course, this show is always sponsored <laughs> and brought to you by the University of Bad Decisions. Where? That's right. <laughs> well, All bad decisions make them for really great stories. They do. They do. I'm oh, sorry. I was, I got caught up. <laughs> mm. Hey, y'all can't hear us. Okay. I comment if you can't. I assume. Everything's I, I, okay. I got a question. Uh oh, questions. I love it. What is it? Did you share the show? I did. did I did. I know you. <laughs> your your phone was rebooting at the time. It so. it was. It was. It was. <laughs> oh, they said they already said. Oh, okay. <laughs> got it. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's I love all good. it. Let's see if I hit this button. What will happen? No, it, wait, well, it, maybe. it plays from behind, apparently. It's all good. We can't do that. Oh, we can't do that. Let's hit, hit, hit. Okay, yeah. that's all that matters right there. Yeah. You heard the playback, but we're good yeah. on the show, though, right? Okay. All right, we good live. I'm good with my cigar and my drink. I, I have to actually. Okay, I know you, you're sharing. It's going to be all right. No, I got you. I'm here now. I'm here. Let me see. And you weren't supposed to be here. You're supposed to be away, away. You're supposed I'm supposed to be, to be in Barbados right now. You're supposed to be doing this remote show. I'm I'm, I'm supposed to be I was going to be in studio. It was, yeah. It's okay. Hurricanes mess, you know, mess things up all the time. It happens. Life, right? Cancel your flight. Cancel that. Yeah, everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. But we're here. We're going to do what we got to do. Because right. you know what? I got some sports. I love sports. I do. I really do. I got sports. That's a, we are in the listen, listen. We <sighs> okay. I'm we gonna are gonna it. talk about gonna do it. Major League Baseball. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Baseball. We, we gonna talk. <laughs> Think you slick. Um, <laughs> we gonna talk about the top four I in American say and National League right now. We um in American League, we got the Astros that's running things over there. Right behind them are the Yankees and the Blue Jays. And then number four is the Cleveland Guardians. 
The Guardians. That's their names, the Guardians now? Guardians. Cleveland Guardians. Not the Indians, but the Guardians. Sure. All right? Um, <laughs> actually, they, they must be trying to, this playoff, that's what they guarding. They're yeah. trying to make it do what it do. National League, them Dodgers running things out there in L.A. Um, oh, look at that. Aaron Judge, we were talking about baseball, 61st. Yeah, home somebody run. just posted that. Thank you, yeah, Phil. Yeah, yeah, appreciate that. Um, Aaron Judge hits six first home run. That's right. That's Babe awesome, Ruth. Hey, it's Ty Roger Maris. I mean, Roger. Yeah, that's right. Roger. right. Yeah. Number two is the Mets. Number three is those ATL Braves. And we got number four, the Cards over in the National League. They doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, How many games we got left? Like six, seven? Not many. Not many. Oh, it's I know over, it's over like this weekend or something. Yeah. Like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, World Cup this year starts next. Well, I say next month because in two days we'll be in October, but November twentieth we'll get into some World Cup World Cups. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I wasn't trying to let it go, bro. I'm just gonna let it go. World Cup soccer. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not messing with y'all today. That's that's what we're doing. Uh, NCAA football. By the way, you didn't mention that. But- the Braves did clinch the playoff series. They did. I, I didn't want to be Mets biased. Did too, but I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't want to be biased. So I, I you yeah. know, I left okay. it alone. Um, <laughs> AP polls. You know what? <laughs> AP mm. polls. We're talking about football now. We all talk. Okay. We are talking about college football. College football. Man. I love it. Uh, Georgia, number one. Hey. Number hey. two, Alabama. Yeah. Number three, the Ohio State. Hmm. Four is Michigan. A oh. shout out to our brother Phil. Clemson is number five. Is that right? It is. They are. Okay. They are right now. So you got two SEC and then two Big Ten and mm-hmm. the Aces. Yeah, right. right. I got you. Um, that seems sounds about right. It sounds about right. At least for right now. <laughs> At least for right now. Yeah. Uh, AP polls for basketball. Basketball. Are we starting basketball? Listen, are we in there? We, we predictions. I got this. We got this. We got some predictions. Number one, Gonzaga. Oh, okay. Number two, Arizona. Three, Kansas. Four, Baylor. Five is Tennessee. Six, Villanova. Seven, Kentucky. Eight, Arvin. Nine, them Blue Devils of Duke. And number 10, the Boilermakers of Purdue. Yeah, Boilermaker! <laughs> Boil- <laughs> Boilermakers made it to number 10. That's the reason why I wanted to bring it up, because I, I knew that you I would be appreciative it. of that. I definitely am. Yeah. So, yeah. Because we ain't making it in the time. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll talk about what you want to talk about, which is not what I want to talk about, but we'll talk about the NFL. I'm going to talk about it real fast, like I am at an auction. Flip it they down. have seen, there's only two teams right now that's undefeated, even though this is only the third week. There's only two teams. Um, in the AFC, we got the Dolphins at 3-0. They ain't been that way since what? I don't know. 90? <laughs> 70? 72. Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. He just <laughs> make, I was going with it. He's just making stuff up. I think it's what like the Dolphin Miami. fans that let us know the last time y'all was Dan Marino was on the team. <laughs> um, like I said, <laughs> ironically. It's not the Falcons, is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> the AFC, ironically, you got them, two Florida teams. Number one is Miami. Number two is Duval. What? Jacksonville. Number three. Jacksonville is undefeated? No, that's oh. not what I said. Oh, my bad. Wait a minute. No, I said the top two teams. Ah, got it. I did say that there were two teams that were undefeated, but I will mention that when I get to the NFC. All right. Um. Duval's number two, Kansas City number three, the Browns are number four, the Broncos are number five right now. Okay. And then in the NFC, the undefeated Phillies are number one. Eagles. Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Yeah, Philadelphia Eagles. Okay. Phillies. You, you, yeah, Philly. right. Don't be mixing up hey, sports listen, here. Hey, I could do that because, you know, everybody <laughs> from Philly understands that, All you right. know, the Eagles. The Philadelphia the, Eagles. Yes. Congrats on y'all. Three and right three now. Okay. Right now. Um, the Rams are number two, the Vikings number three, Tampa Bay four, Green Bay number five. That's all I'm gonna talk about sports today, and we're gonna leave it at that. That's it, Jack. Yeah, got <laughs> yeah, got a whole lot to say. And I'm just saying, my brother. 
I, listen, I had a team that won this week. Oh, you know okay. what? We'll talk about that. We'll talk about your team. Yes. Okay. Shout out to those uh, Chicago Bears. Hey. They bared down and won this weekend. Yeah, shout out to uh, the Carolina Panthers. They won this weekend. Uh, shout out to you Cowboys fans. Y'all won this weekend. I, although I, I will admit, though, let me tell you this. I actually lost a bet when I played a bet at dinner for Cowboys versus. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Cowboys versus the Packers. I'm sorry. Dang, I said the Cowboys. I meant the Bears. Bears versus Packers game. Right. I lost that game, so I owe somebody a dinner. We got it tomorrow. We'll take care of it. No worries. The Falcons did get a win. The, the Falcons did not Falcon this week. Uh, they uh, No, they Falconed. They just got lucky. <laughs> they still Falconed, but they got lucky. Uh, you have to. sure. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> if y'all if y'all don't understand what the Falcons falconing means, just ask any Falcon fan. <laughs> All you got to do is look at every game. Uh, every game. The hardest three quarters played, and that's it. Anyway, moving on. Moving Black history. Right what okay. we got today, my brother? You know, Serena is teetering on retirement and all that stuff. So mm. I said, let me go find out some uh, black tennis players. Well, okay. Let's do that. Other than the ones that everybody know? No, this is the one that everybody should better know. Mr. Ash? Nope. We're talking about a woman. Oh, woman! Excuse me. A woman My apologies. here. Apologies. Oh, oh, let's get yep. it. Althea Gibson, everybody. Let's go. Woo. And so, tennis great Althea Gibson died today, back in two thousand three, September okay. twenty eighth, two thousand three, in East Orange, New Jersey. She was seventy six years old. She was born in August twenty on August twenty fifth, nineteen twenty seven, Clarendon County, South Carolina. Now, somebody, uh -oh. anybody know what Clarendon County is? Please let me know, as I didn't. Let's see. Hold, hold on. Where, where's, where, where, let, let's tell us real quick, because we don't know. We're going to call that a low country. I actually have family down in Clarendon County. Okay. Low country. Production manager knows. What's what's high country? Nah, it's just low country. <laughs> you got upstate? You got upstate? Uh, which is like Greenville, Spartanburg, and then the low country is like Florence and, 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 uh, yeah, all those places. Yeah, low, gotcha. Low upstate, country, close to Charleston. Upstate in the same state, and then low country in the same state. All gotcha. Right. Yep, yep, yep. I feel you. All right. So, uh, she became one of the first. She became the first African American woman to win a singles cup championship in the United States on July twenty first, nineteen fifty seven, when she won the U.S. Clay Court Singles title at River Forest. Althea Gibson became the first African American to win a singles cup championship at Wimbledon earlier that month. On July 6, 1957, beating Darlene Hard, uh, yeah, Hard, 6'3 <laughs> to 6'2, six, 6'3 six, six, and 6'2. And then uh, Gibson's amazing career included 56 singles and doubles titles, including wins in 11 Grand Slam tournaments. In 1957 and 1958, Gibson was voted Female Athlete of the Year by the Associated Press. She was the first African American tennis player to compete in the U.S. National Championships in 1950 and at Wimbledon in 1951. Gibson also broke racial barriers as a professional golfer. Who knew? I did not know this. Um, becoming the first African-American woman to become a member of the Ladies Professional Golf Association, LPG. That's pretty dope. Most definitely, my brother. Okay, okay. Oh, man. In current events, we will bring that up. Thank you, uh... Uh, Mr. Philip Lindsay, yeah. let us know that Mr. Coolio, at the age of 59, died today, this evening, today. Man, do yeah. we have Coolio? We should get Coolio's music on deck. I'm just saying, yeah. we could do that. We could do that. I'm, 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 you know, we're gonna, we're gonna play a, a quick tribute to okay. him, a quick one. Um, well, yeah, we love us some Coolio, man. That's yeah, okay. definitely, he, definitely. He, he did many, he was a uh, he was a cook. The cook, yeah, Coolio. You know he was he was cooking. Oh man, see, cook. I mean, okay. <laughs> no. You know what, my friends, they crap, boy. I tell you, <laughs> it's the paradise. <laughs> my friends, they crap. I don't know what's going man. on. Anyway, he he didn't let that little piece of hair go. I know that he, he did not. But I'm surprised you didn't know about um him in the kitchen. Um, either either way, um. Man, we 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 had a good show. 
last week? No, nah, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we had uh, Mark Weaver on. We did, um, which was really dope. He's been on a. He was on the show. He was. We were talking about relationships and the For difference sure. about. Uh, Just thought I put, thought I put some of this in the background. Hey. Um, talking the difference between online rest in, dating. Rest in peace, Coolio. That's right. Online dating. Yes. Uh, matchmaking. Matchmaking. So it's a whole show where they they match they match you together. Love match Atlanta, right? Yeah, that's what. Yep. Yep. Love match. And then, listen to y'all. Listen to me, people. Y'all have to come to our after Zoom. I'm gonna tell you why. We had a uh, uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. It's always lit. after show on, after on Zoom. Always lit. Um. Way that's than this that's where people are able to actually speak freely. I mean, uh, our Zooms are never recorded, so people get to talk and ask questions, and it was very lively. And you can talk about whatever you want. Yeah, so people asked a lot of questions, uh, gave their opinions on things. So it was it was a pretty dope show. Um, anyway, well, you know, here we got to make sure we don't get kicked off of Facebook. So our our conversation is um. Correct. NC thirteen or something like that. They yeah. don't. They don't enjoy us going down the. Oh, NC seventeen. The rabbit hole. On seventeen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We do not get to go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Even drink it. <laughs> yeah. Teetering. Um. So yeah, so that was a great show. We also have a great show today with a very special guest. Yep. Absolutely. You know what? I think we're gonna bring our guest on. I but, appreciate it because know, she's right? been waiting for a minute. She so. has. She has. So let me yeah. let me jump over here. Hit this button. And um, hit this. Yeah, okay, good. And then let's go live. Maybe we are live. It's live. Let's see. Let's see if we join back in. If we did, that's amazing. If we did, that's amazing. Hey, let's see. Okay. We back in. Hey, look at that. That was that us? was easy. Can you, you see, see both us? sides? Right? Can you hear us? Okay, wait. Let's see. We're gonna wait just a minute. We're back in. We're live. Okay. See, I tell you, when I start clicking, using my well, fingers. Welcome back to the Mega Quan Show, everybody. <laughs> We have, we have a, and I'm Quan. We have a few technical difficulties with Zoom, but that's okay. <laughs> I think that's what happens when it's every other week. You know, yeah. we get things. We get old. We don't push a button, and we do push a button, things blow up. Yeah, things happen. So, well, I mean, welcome, welcome. Um, today's guest is okay. Miss Nicole Anthony. She, um, owns Black 
women business owners, Synergy, right? Is, am I correct? Synergy. You is are correct, yes. Yes, yes. So <laughs> we were talking about the importance of insurance and everything else, right? And we were talking about... Uh, we weren't talking about it. We were talking about it last, last week. Oh, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, last week. Got it. You and I. You yes. and I. All right. I'm not talking about it on the show. No, no, no. Because I was like, we got to catch a guest up. They're not there yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. <laughs> so, yeah. So, welcome to the Mega Quan Show. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. If you would like to give a, a brief intro, we'd appreciate that. We well, 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 well. Listen, I got to catch you guys' shows a little bit more often. You guys are kind of funny over there. We have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> Usually we don't have as many technical difficulties, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, All right. Can, try to keep it light. All right. I like it. So, um, yeah, thank you for having me. My name is uh, Nicole Anthony. I am out of Maryland. Um, I am an insurance broker, so I specialize in uh, several different um, areas of insurance, um, whole life, term life, mortgage protection, final expense. Um, becoming your own bank, uh, children's whole life, um, a whole gamut of things. So I, <laughs> I can actually help with um, a lot of things, um, whether it's, you know, trying to safeguard your loved ones in the event that something happens to you. So I can help with a lot of things. Thank you for that introduction. I appreciate that. I'm yes, glad sir. everybody says they can see and hear us. So that's wonderful. I'm glad that we is, good. That's why I, that's why I went back over there. That is amazing that how technology works though. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You. It kept us going, but not really. <laughs> All right. All right. You want to so, ask first? Yeah, yeah. So you, you mentioned something that a lot of people, the the biggest misunderstanding about insurance, I hear people say, what's the difference between whole life and term insurance? Well, I think a lot of times like people get caught up in the difference of insurance. Um, sometimes people will say, well, I got some insurance through my job or I got insurance through this, but they don't understand the difference. So term life is just that. It's for a term, a period of time, whether it's 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. Um, and then whole life actually takes you through your whole life as long as you don't, you know, lapse or, you know, get rid of the coverage. So it's different, um, you know, it's different products that we can put in place for folks when we are talking about term life and home, whole life. Home, whole life is just really for the duration of your life. And in term life, you know, I typically use that for something like, you know, my kid is in college. Let me just go ahead and, you know, get an extra 500,000 just in case something happens to me. That's kind of what you want to do with, um, you know, some of the some of the policies that we have. So you recommend, obviously, as an insurance broker, you recommend people do get life insurance. Is this a is this an avenue to wealth building? Absolutely. I mean, I definitely recommend people get life insurance. Um, and also, even if you have life insurance currently, you want to take a look at your life insurance every year. So a lot of times, like we have things that happen to us, we get married, have kids, get a divorce. Um, so yeah, it, is, it really is an avenue to wealth building because we can jump into being our own banks. Um, and that's called the infinite banking concept. A lot of people haven't heard about it. Um, it's fairly a new concept that you're seeing online on social media. So yeah, you, you know, you want to begin to get different coverages as life happens. So you can, you know, you can make sure that your family is taken care of and we can start building legacies and really eradicating a lot of what we see that's going on with poverty within our community. And you do it through life insurance, which is really a tax-free vehicle. Mm. All right. So at, I, I like tax free. When is the right time for a person to decide that they need life insurance? At birth. At birth. You think yes. life insurance at birth? I think we should all get our kids insurance at birth. Um, you know, you can get insurance as early as 14 days um, for our kids, and you don't want to wait until something happens to you. So a lot of times, like what we see is life insurance brokers, people wait until something traumatic happens. They might lose a loved one or they might have, you know, a serious health issue and they wait until something happens. And life insurance is really contingent on your age and your health. So you want to get it as healthy as possible and you don't want to pay a whole bunch of money for it every single month. And the younger you are, which is, you know, you're not close to mortality, it's going to be cheaper for someone who's a baby as opposed to someone who's 78 with a whole bunch of medical issues. 
Okay, but as a baby, how much life insurance does a baby, <laughs> who are they supporting? Well, no, it's not necessarily that they're supporting anyone. Um, and we don't want to think about our kids, you know, dying, right? We no. want to make sure that, absolutely not. Like, you know, I have a child myself. Uh, well, a really a grown, grownish man, right? Uh, but, <laughs> but we want to make sure that our kids are covered, not for if something happens to them, but, you know, to go back to the question that you just had, how it's starting to build wealth for them. It's starting to, you know, get them accustomed to, um, you know, financial literacy. And so it's really to take them through life as they get older, they can get more insurance. As they get older, they understand the concept of insurance. It's almost like having insurance for our car. We never go without it. We want to be able to be in our cars, right? But it's really, this concept is different, especially in our communities. We don't, we don't get educated on this at all. And so we want to start as young as possible to really educate our youth. It's not for if something happens to them, but to really carry them throughout life. I like that. Like that. So you made the comment, and I know a lot of people probably keened on that about it being a bank, right? You know, everybody's like, "What?" I see that on TikTok a lot. I, Absolutely. And people don't understand how that works, or or understand what does that actually mean. Mm -hmm. Could you explain? And is it right for everyone? But it 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 can be okay. Um, and the, the explanation process, like if anyone wants to really contact me, cause this is really, it's going to take a little bit longer than the, the 15 minutes that we gotcha, have left, gotcha. yeah. but, um, if anyone wants to contact me to really just go over what it is, they can. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'll give my number at the end of the show. If you guys want to do that yeah, well, and my, um, my social media platforms. Okay. So, um, just really quickly, like the infinite banking concept is really utilizing, insurance as a process where you're utilizing the insurance plan, the insurance policy that you have, and you're building, you're, you're dumping money to, into it um, as, a, as a process where you're able to say, hey, I'm utilizing my insurance uh, plan and my insurance coverage, and you're building cash value as you go every single month. And you're able to borrow against that cash value simply because you have a life insurance policy. That's really the uh, snip bit of it, but okay. I can definitely go into more detail um, if someone wants to know more about the IBC, um, which is the infinite banking concept. And, you know, we could do an illustration. We could talk about it, see if it's right for you. And, you know, every plan doesn't fit every one. Um, you know, we always think that it's just one size fit all, but it's not. Um, you know, you really have to talk about what your goals are, what you're looking to do as you get older, um, as you go into retirement, you know, as your kids go into to college, if you have children. So everyone is different and we want to treat everyone, you know, as as they are, you know, different individual with different financial goals. OK, well, I, I actually have a, a, a real life scenario for you because this is me. I currently have a term life insurance policy, but my company continues to contact me and getting wanting me to convert my term into a whole life policy. And I'm very unsure about that. Um, yeah, if it's a, a lot of times people or, are or what, what things I need to look out for in order to make that decision. Well, you want to, you know, sometimes you'll de you're dealing with one company. Um, and again, one size doesn't fit all. So I'm a broker and all that means is that I'm not pigeonholed to any one company. I look at all the different plans for you. So I'm a firm believer that I, I definitely feel like you should have multiple policies to fit your lifestyle. And if you do convert that policy, what's the conversion rate? How much is it going to be? Is it something that you can afford? Do you still need to have a term life you know, policy. So those are questions that we'll ask, you know, once we're in a meeting with someone, we ask those questions. I don't sell people, um, you know, people think, oh, you know, you're just trying to sell me. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to educate you on the importance of making sure that, you know, your family is covered if tragic, you know, a tragic event happens. So you want to really decide what you're going to do, what you want to do with your insurance policy. And then just really make sure you're asking, um, you know, really good questions 
or making sure that you're with someone who, you know, who's knowledgeable about the subject. Mm. That's good to know. Thank you very much. I also <laughs> want to know. Uh oh. So if a person smokes cigars, <laughs> not that oh. I do, yeah, but if a person did smoke cigars, their rates are going to be a little bit higher, right? Well, it depends. Um, <laughs> it depends. Ah, I like that. Are, it depends. Uh, I just, you are, I, I had one that one time on the golf course with Tiger Woods. You know what? I, I, I didn't, I've never had a cigar or a cigarette, um, you know, knock on wood, you know, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it just, it just really depends on, um, you know, if you've smoked in the past, um, if you're currently smoking. So, you know, you do get smoker rates if you are a smoker. And then we do, you know, sometimes blood and urine tests, depending on what type of policy that you have. Lord, so it just know. depends on how That's you... That's my religion, I'm that telling you. That sounds like the federal. Yeah. <laughs> it just religion. depends on how you answer the questions um, on the, um, you know, depends. on the application. Uh, how you answer the questions? Uh, let me tell you, they, I answer they, all they, questions honestly. <laughs> Absolutely, every time. Every time with the blood. Every time. Every, every time. time. It depends oh, yeah. on the truth. I'm telling. <laughs> oh man, listen, Miss Anthony, we 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 truly appreciate you um, jumping on. This is this is an ongoing conversation. This is not yeah, something that right. can can be talked about uh, finalized in 10, 15 minutes. How can people find you? I can be found on all social media platforms, um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, TikTok, all of them as uh, J Divine, and it's spelled J-A-I-D-E-V-I-N-E. -E. Um, you can also text me um, at 240-665-5216. Hold on, hold and, on. Um, you got older, you got older we, people we're gonna, on here. We're going to post our business card. That's what we're going to do. Uh, it, we posted oh. the business card to the yeah. chat. See, that's why it. we have a production manager because see, <laughs> I was you heard me. I was like, hold on, hold on. You got old people here. And I was trying to write it down and put it in there, but our production manager is already on there. Yeah. Got it. Keep him around so. for a reason. He keep us around for a reason. <laughs> oh, there it is. There we go. And he posted our All page right. too, right? Thank you, sir. See? I don't know. Yeah, and I'll post on. it in the I'll post it in the chat as well. Um, just so right. everyone can have it. One more quick Ooh. question. How long you been doing this broker thing? Broker insurance? Oh man, I've been um doing this since 2008 oh. full time. Yeah. Oh, so you ain't new to it, you true to it. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm true to this. <laughs> yeah, it's all about education for me. And you know, that's kind of what I believe in. I'm pretty Just sure to educate our people in our community. Yeah, I'll I'll be reaching out for sure. I, I hope some of you guys will reach out as well. Absolutely. I am available. Um, if not, if I'm not available, I have a full team that I'll be available. Do you have some time to stick around for us? We have an after for show. Sure. Right? Yeah, I'll, I'll jump on an after show for sure. Thank you so much. We <laughs> appreciate oh, that. Oh boy. Great. Wonderful. So, good people. Um, I'm gonna put you in the waiting room. That's, is that okay? All right. Sounds good. All right. Wonderful. Thank you for joining us on thank the Mega Quan show. You. All right. Thank y'all. All right. Man, that was uh some good intel yeah you know a lot of people yes. do wonder what's the difference and get caught up like like yourself you they're trying to switch you and you're like why and i'm just what? like i need to understand what the benefits are what, right what uh what evidently it's beneficial oh. to them but right. is it beneficial to you they always trying to sell you on something always they understand and they always trying to make some money off of you without you knowing and it's probably better to go talk to a broker because like she said she ain't pigeonholed to one company exactly she's so. gonna look out for you and what's best yeah. overall opposed to a person that works directly Indeed. with whatever company that is right yeah, that part. i got abc insurance it's okay i got xyz hey. our got production manager got acme so he got the best <laughs> he got I the best <laughs> element <of peace. laughs> we all in trouble it. yes indeed <laughs> good people listen Thank we know that you all uh, um you had an opportunity to go any place else tonight anywhere anywhere but you know what i did what I added our Zoom link to the conversation. Please join us this evening. I added. We needed the to Zoom add it link. to the wall as well, if you don't mind. To which wall? Our wall. Our wall on our page. Our wall on our page, oh, if you don't mind. That's that's so easy. everybody can easily find it. That's right. 
you know, sometimes searching the, the posts in a chat or in the thing is not always the best. So right here? There you go. Perfect. Boom. Posting yeah. it to the wall, everybody. Well, I thought I was. Yeah. You're struggling. Go back. Oh, that's because I, I clicked the wrong place. That part. There it is. It's- <laughs> We're going to figure it out. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, my brother. That's uh- what she said. <laughs> Rabbit hole conversations, I tell you, boy. And join us for these rabbit hole conversations on our <laughs> after Zoom. Absolutely. Oh, man, y'all are hilarious. Um, Listen, good people, again, we do this every other Wednesday now, not every week. We are on a new day, a new time. What's Wednesdays at um 9.15 Eastern every other Standard Wednesday. Time. Every other Wednesday. Um, the next show will be? Do you know? I don't know, sir. I'm, oh, my goodness. I don't have, Good I don't brother. Have, I don't have a calendar. You got the calendar right no, there. The, but you know what? Better than the actual calendar, we have... Oh, 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 oh. oh you got the dates already posted in the... I one thought I did. Thing. Never mind. <laughs> just just click on the calendar. I click, click on the calendar. Just, my bad. My bad. Hold on. Not boom. the 5th, but... Boom. Yeah. 12. 12. October 12th, everybody. <laughs> Come back to the Mega Quan Show. I promise you, we're going to be better prepared. Hey, look, I thought we were prepared tonight. You were supposed to be in Barbados. I get it. It's okay. Right. I got right. that. It's all right. You're right. I was supposed to Thank be. y'all for joining us. Come hey. join the after show. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got more to talk about. I promise. We do. We do. And we appreciate you. Uh, once too. again, like and share. Share and like. Join us. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And the show is always sponsored, sponsored by... by- the University of Bad Decisions, Appreciate where you. bad decisions make great stories. I promise you they do. I, whew, if you only knew. Yeah. Anyway, the check stories. us out. Peace. Yeah.